Kira Internet, I've just signed up for a block swap hosted by Quilts on Tour. How a block swap works is you're given a theme or a colour scheme or something like that and a list of 11 names and you have to make 12 blocks following that theme and then you send one to each of those 11 people and keep one for yourself. They will each send you a block, so at the end you should have 12 different blocks that all kind of follow that theme, which you can then make up into a quilt. So it sounds like a really fun kind of exercise, doing something that's creative but bounded and having to incorporate other people's ideas into your own quilt. That sounds like an interesting challenge. The instructions for my group is to use blue and purple fabrics and we can make any kind of block we like as long as it ends up as 10 and a half inches square. I thought about using some New Zealand fabrics but I couldn't find anything I really liked in blue or purple, or at least nothing that would suit being a focus point of the block. And then I remembered I just happened to have bought this fabric which has blue and purple cats on it and including a cat on a quilt is sort of a signature of mine funny that <laughs> so I thought I could fussy cut some of these cats and make them the center of a block I'm thinking maybe a log cabin because with a log cabin you usually make the central square a different color so the fact that these are white as well wouldn't matter so much and then I can use blue and purple to go around them in the log cabin so instead of the traditional half at the center of each block there'll be a cat at the center of each block so first of all, I need to find some fabrics that are going to look good with the cats. Picking fabric is always my favourite part of any project. I just love finding unusual fabrics that shouldn't go together but do. The cats are actually a bit big for the centre of the blocks and because of the way they're printed, it would be quite hard to fussy cut them because they kind of overlap if you draw squares around them. So I've decided I'll just use their heads. All of the heads fit nicely into three inch squares so that means I can cut three and a half inch blocks fussy cut and that should work out quite nicely. If you've seen any of my quilts you probably know that I kind of like scrappy style quilts so I like to get a lot of different fabrics into each block. So I'm going to make each strip one and a half inch wide so the finished strip will be one inch wide. So that means I can fit four rounds of the log cabin into a ten and a half inch block. So that'll be 16 different fabrics plus the cat. I'm not worrying too much about making all of the blocks identical. I'm just cutting whatever number of strips I can get out of each fabric. And if I run out of one, then the next block just gets a different fabric for that strip. 12 blocks all ready to go. They're not identical and I managed to flip the handedness on a few of them so some of them the purple and the blue are on different sides but they don't need to be identical because they're not going into the same quilt they're going into 12 different quilts so it doesn't really matter. There's the finished block I probably could have given it a bit more contrast between the purple and the blue but I kind of like the way it looks anyway. I did manage to get one New Zealand fabric into it, the power shell fabric along the bottom here. I did also have a Buzzy Bees fabric, which if you're not a New Zealander, Buzzy Bees are an iconic New Zealand toy. But the blue in it was just not quite the right shade and it just looked wrong. So I unpicked all the Buzzy Bees and replaced them with other fabrics. But it's got a cat on it, which is the important thing, and I think it looks really nice. 
The next step is I have to figure out how to put my name on each of them and the date I think is there's some things you've got to label it with for the quilt swap so that when the quilt's made up you can actually see who made each block. I'll probably just write something along the edge of this white cat central panel because that's the best way to make it show up and then I can get them in the post and send them off. The group I'm in is mostly Australian quilters and a handful of American so posters shouldn't be too bad getting them to Australia but America is the postage is really really slow between here and America at the moment. The book crossing ornament exchange parcel that I posted in early December, it was one of the first Vlogmas videos I posted, um, that only just got to America last week. So it's taking about six weeks for post to get across the Pacific so yeah it could, could be a bit of a slow process before I get the quilt blocks to the recipients and get my ones back again. But once I do get all the quilt blocks back, I'll make another video putting them all together and making them into a quilt. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my quilt swap blocks. Quilt block swap blocks. It feels like a kind of tongue twister or something. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Kakite internet. Thank you.